Okay, so we're still developing basic console applications and we're in week three. And the question is, write an application that asks the user to enter three integers and display them in ascending order and descending order. Okay, so enter three integers in the user. So we're gonna ask them for three integers and then work, out the, work them out into ascending order and descending order and display them back to the user. Now we haven't done sorting at this stage and there's a whole lot of things we haven't done. So we're just going to use basic if statements to work out which are the biggest and smallest and middle and, and display them back to the user. Okay, so file, save as ascending.java and public class, sending, should be getting pretty good at this by now, public static void main string square brackets args Okay, so we've got our basic template there. So we need to get three integer, three users from the uh, three integers from the user. Get three integers from the user, and then we need to display them ascending order and display them in descending order. And we can do this a whole bunch of ways, but we might as well uh, determine the order here. So get uh, get them in order here, and we might as well get them in, in descending order. And then we'll just display the results when we when we got them worked out. Okay, so we've got a few steps there to work out. That looks like a pretty good bit of shit code. So let's. Uh, so we'll get the integers from the user as uh, using input, uh, using scanners, import java.util.scanner. Okay, so we've got our scanner there. Let's declare a scanner object, scanner kb equals new scanner. Don't forget you can call that whatever you like. You can call it input or keyboard or whatever you want to call it. I just call mine kb. System.in, so the default input device, which is the keyboard. We need three integers, int one, int two, int three, uh, get the three integers in the user, so system.out.println, prompt the user so they know what to enter, enter three integers. We could prompt for one and then get another one and then get another one and we could check everything's valid and all that sort of thing, but the question doesn't say to do any validation, so we're just going to keep it really simple. So int one equals kb, our scanner object, dot next int. Okay, so keyboard, KB is our scanner object up here. Okay, it's using the keyboard as its input device. So KB.nextIn gives us the next, next number typed in by the user at the keyboard. Okay, we can do the same for integer two and integer three. Integer two, integer three, KB next int. So they could, they could enter three integers here, all in one line or separate lines, doesn't matter. This will all pick them up okay, so. Um, and then what we probably want to do is work them out in ascending and descending order. So if, we're, if we had more integers, we'd, this would be a, a, a nasty way to do things. But I'm just trying to do it, do it the way that we've got enough code for at the moment. So let's have biggest, middle, and smallest. So we're going to work out which is the biggest, which is the middle, and which is the smallest. If we had 100 integers, we would not do this. Okay, but we're just doing it the, doing it the simplest way for the amount of code we've done so far. Okay, um, if, let's just use some if statements. Uh, if int1 is greater than int2, then, okay, so let's continue. Let me just fix that, fix that up. Um, so I'll say get the biggest. So we'll work out the biggest and then the middle and then the smallest. I'll delete that comment. Okay, so if int1 is greater than int2, biggest is equal to int1, int1 is the biggest of the two, int, if int2 is bigger than int3, uh, hmm, we're going to be careful here, uh, if, if int3 is greater than biggest, then biggest equals int3, uh, int1, what, actually, what I might do is do this. I might just change this slightly. Biggest equals int1. Okay, so assume it's the first one. If int2 
is greater than biggest, then we've got a new biggest. And if int three is greater than biggest, we've got a new biggest. That's the easiest way to do it. I'll do it that way. Okay, so set it to int one to start with, and then work out which is the biggest and the smallest. Same for middle. Well, let's, actually, let's do the smallest. That's, that's the next one we should do. Smallest equals int one, and it's just the same sort of pattern. If int two is greater than, is less than smallest, Okay, so if int2 is less than smallest, we've got a new smallest. So smallest is equal to int2. Okay, and if int3 is less than smallest, we've got a new smallest. Now there are many other ways we can do it, and I might show you some of those shortly. Um, but we've only done a little bit of Java so far, so we can't we can't go too far here. We've got to keep it fairly simple. Okay, so um, and then we've got to work out the middle one. So before we go ahead, let's just do the outputs. So system.out.println. And we'll display them in ascending order. So it's going to be smallest plus a comma plus middle plus a comma plus biggest. And descending order. Oh, come on. There we go. Descending. It's going to be the biggest first and the smallest last. Okay, another thing we want to do before we before we do anything really, I like initializing all my data all the time. Even though Java takes care of a lot of it for you um, in, in, in some cases. But here, uh, we just want to make sure everything's initialized to zero. So let's just line everything up nice and neat. Okay, so we've initialized our three numbers, and we've also initialized biggest, smallest, and middle. Um, zero is probably not the ideal value. What if we had all negative numbers? Minus three, minus five, and minus nine. Zero would be the maximum. So we've got to be careful what we initialize it to, but zero is probably the safest number in this case. So we'll, we'll stick with the safest number. Save that one. Now we're going to work out what the middle is. Okay, so let's use a case where, the, and for the, for the purposes of this exercise, we'll assume they've entered three different numbers. Okay, we won't assume, so we'll, we'll skip edge cases like this. So we won't, we'll assume they haven't entered four, 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 for example. Okay, or three, three, nine. So here we've got two numbers the same. We'll, we'll ignore all those edge cases for this, we'll just keep it simple. We'll assume they've entered three different integers. Okay, so we'll skip the edge cases. If you're feeling uh, like something to do at home for, for a, a bit more practice, um, you can have a crack at the edge cases if you want to. That'd be, that'd be a good little thing to think about. Let's just do the, the plain cases. So let's say we've got numbers one, three, and five. It's very clear that's the middle. Or if we've got the numbers five, four, and three, again, it's very clear that that one's the middle. So let's look at that case. If int one is less than int two and int two is less than int three so that takes care of that or, or int one is greater than int two and int two is greater than int three Okay, so that's that's that case there, and this is this case. That's that case there. Okay, so five, four, three. Int one's greater than int two, and int two is greater than int three. Then the middle number is int two. Okay, let's look at another case. So we've got five, one, three. So, biggest, smallest, middle. So if that's the case, the middle is int three. What about if we've got numbers, num numbers like this? Three, one, five. Biggest, smallest, middle. So here the middle would be int one. Okay, and also down here, what about if we had 
three, five, one. So that would be the biggest, that would be the smallest, and that would be the middle. And over here, if we had um, one, oh, I've already got one, three, five. Uh, so that's the middle. And then if we had one, five, three. So here, smallest, biggest, middle. Biggest, smallest, middle. Okay, so in this case, int three is middle. Okay, in this case, int two is middle. And in this case down here, int one is middle. Now we still haven't taken account of these edge cases here, and that could be something you take a look at, but let's now write the code for these ones down below here. Okay, so let's take on the next one. If int one is greater than int three, and int two is less than int three. I'm just turning that that there into code. If int three, if int one is greater than int three, and int two is less than int three, then we've got a then we've got a, 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 a middle. Otherwise, if int one is less than int three, and int 2 is greater than int 3. You can see what I'm doing? I'm just turning that, our, our little examples here, straight into code. I'm just typing it in as I see it. So if int 1 is less than int 3, and int 2 is greater than int 3, then int 2 is our middle. Sorry, int 3 is our middle. And that's an else if, else if. And you've got to put round brackets around the whole lot. Uh, okay, and we've got the bottom one to do now. Else, if just spacing it out, getting ready, getting get my brackets ready to put some code in. So this one down here, if if int one is greater than int two, if int one is greater than int two and int 1 is less than int 3, then int 1's our middle. Okay, and then this one here, if int 1, int 1 is less than int 2, and int 1 is greater than int 3, I'm just turning that straight into code. Int 1 is less than, is greater than int, int, int 1 is greater than int 2, and int 1 is less than int 3, and int 1 is less than int, int, int 3, sorry. Then we've got that condition there. And if int 1 is less than int 2, int 1 is less than int 2, and int 1 is greater than int 3, int 1 is greater than int 3. I'm just writing the code exactly as I see it. And if that's the case, then int 1, int 1 is the middle. Okay. Now we're not taking account of the edge cases, we're just taking account if there are three different numbers entered. Let's run that and see. We should be pretty close. Control one. Let's enter um, one three five and one three five five three one. That's working great. Let's enter five three one. One three five five three one. Beautiful. Control two. Let's enter five one three. So the middle number is on one of the edges now. One three five five three one. That's looking beautiful. Control two. Let's do it so the middle number's on the left. Five, oh, three, five, one, one, three, five, five, three, one. So that's all looking like it's working great. Now it won't work for the edge cases, as I said, because we need to change some of this code here. Maybe from greater than to greater than or equal to in certain places. Maybe there's other changes you need to make. Okay, that's enough hints. I'll let you work that out. And another thing to consider, maybe we could be doing this a lot simpler. Okay. All this stuff to work at the middle. Maybe we could be using biggest and smallest to work at the middle and not int1, int2, int3. So we might be able to simplify all these if statements here. Okay. Food for thought? Okay. So 
the, 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 we've, we've, answered, we've answered the question, everything's fine, but uh, there's definitely areas there for you to explore and tinker with. Okay, see if you can find a cleaner solution, a better solution. Okay. But we basically answered the question now. We, we, we're assuming it's three different integers and we're displaying them in ascending and descending order. Bit of a mess. This code here is pretty nice, working out the biggest, working out the smallest. But this code here to work out the middle is a bit of a nasty bit of code. Uh, but we got there in the end. And um, hope that was useful. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.